All right, car people, here is a sneak peek at the 2022 Mini Cooper S convertible. Uh, this one is an iconic trim in the new uh, zesty yellow. This color is brand new for 2022. This car also has the new pulse spoke 18 inch wheels, piano black exterior trim, which includes gas cap, door handles, light surrounds, um, exhaust tips, badges. This is a super, super cool looking car. Um, I was like everybody else. I was a little uh, reserved on the front end, not crazy about it in pictures, but I gotta tell you in person, um, it looks way better than it does in pictures. Um, I do like the fact that they did away with the black bumper bar um, and uh, made it more integrated and painted it the same color as the car. We have a look at the uh, new LED turn signals on the sides. Uh, they have done away with uh, front driving lights. Um, they've actually integrated air curtains in the front end. Uh, this helps cheat the wind and get you better fuel economy. Um, you do have the uh, active LED headlights uh, with cornering lights. Um, those cornering lights you can also activate now um, as what they call bad weather lights. So you do still have a fog light button, um, but if you hit that, that actually illuminates your cornering lights. Uh, the new steering wheel is a little more blocky looking, but the feel, um, it's softer than the past steering wheels. Climate controls have remained the same. Your steering wheel control buttons do look a little bit different, but have the same functions. Uh, we do have a new speed limit function. Uh, with this, you can actually get to uh, the max speed that you wanted um, the car to hold you at. Uh, you can hit that button, and then if you're driving using the gas pedal, once you hit that speed, it'll actually hold you there. It won't go any faster unless you really push on it. There's your new instrument cluster. Uh, this is actually now standard across the board on all the minis. Um, some people aren't crazy about the digital cluster, but I do like the fact that you do still have your tack and your gas gauge. Um, nice, clear, and easy to read digital speedometer. You have your clock, outside temperature, distance to empty, and your current speed limit all at the same time. We do also have the heads up display on this one. This is the new silver checkered dash trim. Your center instrument has gotten a little more funky looking. Uh, that pattern is actually uh, in there. That's not uh, due to camera trickery. That actually does look like that. Um, this one's set up to function like a uh, tachometer for the engine. But um, anyway, the uh, new uh, radio screen is pretty cool. You can actually scroll through different things without having to go to menu to get there. Um, if you want nav, you just click it. It jumps you right to your nav screen. Um, I'm using the center control. If you want to go back, just click it left to go back. So uh, you do still have your uh, quick command buttons down here. Menu takes you to your main menu as before. Uh, media takes you to your radio screen. Communication takes you to your phone screen. Map obviously. Um, one of the things that I do like to point out when I'm selling the new minis is uh, the voice controls. Uh, the voice activated uh, system on these cars actually works really well. If you want to go somewhere, uh, you just click the button and tell it what you want to do. Take me to the Empire State Building. Empire State Building 355th Avenue, New York was selected. Guidance has been started. So again, super easy to use, um, very clear and legible, um, and it understands most accents, including my funny Southern accent. Um, your nav system will actually calculate for traffic as well. 
Um, one of the nice things I like with the new traffic system, we'll just use the touch screen. Um, any traffic that's actually along your route will show up first. And then the grayed out ones are just in your general vicinity, but not on your route. So these are actually on my route. Um, if there were any traffic delays, it would actually calculate that. Um, it would show it in my arrival time, and above that it would show plus whatever 10 minutes that it's adding to my drive. Um, you do also get uh, your turn-by-turn -turn directions in the heads-up display, which is another nice tap, touch that Mini does. Um, you can change your map layouts by voice, you can get to your clock settings by voice, change radio stations, all sorts of stuff. FM 100.7 HD2. You are listening to FM 100.7. This one has the uh, 12 speaker, 410 watt Harman Kardon stereo system, uh, which is pretty amazing. Um, so there we see it's actually now adjusted my route 72 minutes uh, for traffic, 94 minutes for traffic. Uh, must be five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> uh, we'll go back to traffic info um, just to show you this. It's kind of cool. Um, each traffic incident, it'll actually break down how much traffic it's adding for each section. And if you um, jump into it, let's find a bigger delay. There we go, there's 23 minutes. If I click on this, um, it'll show me what road it's on as well as uh, what roads it's between. And it'll even break down um, your uh, different traffic delays. So another nice feature, if you wanna add a stop along your route, Where's the nearest gas station? Shell 3501 US 19 North, Palm Harbor. Say yes or select another entry from the list. Number three. Texaco 2320 Curly Road, Palm Harbor was selected. Say start guidance or add as intermediate destination. Start guidance. Guidance has been started. Actually, I messed up there. I should have added it as an intermediate destination. Highway 19 North. Stop navigation. Guidance has been stopped. But I could have said add as intermediate and it would have added it as a stop. I'll show you one other neat trick with these. Last destinations. I'm just gonna select it quick to save time. Um, now let's say I'm hungry and um, I want to eat Italian food. Um, I'm going to use the center controller this time. I'm going to go to um, guidance. I'm going to go add intermediate destination. Turn right onto US Highway 19 North. I want a restaurant, so I'm going to go points of interest, category search, food and drink, Italian food. So uh, now I can just click change location and filter, click it again and change it to along my route. And then it's just gonna show places along my actual route. So if I wanna eat and say, I don't know, an hour or two, we'll pick something about 50 miles away. We'll click it, click it again and it's added it as a stop. So start guidance. Um, if I'm looking for gas or I want to plan a gas stop, I can just click this left. We've got a really short range right now, um, but if I had a longer range, I can go route, route details turn right onto US Highway 19 And it's going to give me refuel almost immediately. But um, so I've got about 40 miles range. So if I go to refuel, it'll show me gas stations almost all the way out um, to probably about 30 miles. Actually, yeah, all the way up to 40. So um, let's say I like mobile. 
I can click mobile, click it again, add as an intermediate destination. And now I have my gas stop, my food stop, and my ultimate destination. So um, if you want a nav system that's easy to use, this is definitely the one to have. Uh, the clock sets automatically. Um, there's just, there's so many different things that this thing does and it actually does it well. Um, but anyway, hope you enjoyed the sneak peek um, at this car. I guess, uh, hang on, let me put the top down. So you can get a look at the uh, interior. This car has not been cleaned yet, so I apologize. There's uh, paper and plastic and stuff on the floor, but <clears throat> we'll give you a quick top-down look. This is the uh, cool new interior that's uh, just become available this year, and we'll give you a step back so you can check it out. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, be sure to uh, like and follow my page. Um, I will be, if we still have this car Saturday, we're gonna try and keep it at least until Saturday uh, because we are sponsoring a uh, mini event. We'll be doing a um, drive across the Sunshine Skyway Bridge to raise money for charity and if things go as planned, I will be taking this car. So uh, I'll do another uh, quick video just on the uh, what I think about how it drives. Talk to you soon. Bye for now, YouTubers.